This is very cool. It is a one-of-a-kind experiment. A team of explorers headed out to Iceland to test out a suit in an environment very similar to Mars. Here to tell us all about the experiment is suit designer RISD's Michael Lai, senior critic and NASA coordinator. Thanks so much, Michael, for coming, and thanks for bringing the suit as well. Thanks for having me. I really love showing the yeah. suit off. So, so first, before we even talk about the suit itself, start explaining what the ISA and the Explorers Club team really is. So ISA stands for Inter uh, Iceland Space Agency, and it's an organization that's really trying to get Iceland more involved in space, joining the European Space Agency, right. for example. And you were saying that there are, because we were asking you how you knew that kind of like where you were to test out the suit has similar atmosphere, but there are a few places around that have a similar atmosphere and like conditions. There have been analog NASA studies in Hawaii on top of volcanoes, in the Antarctic, in polar regions, and in Iceland. The Apollo astronauts actually trained in Iceland from some of their geology work. Right. Now the video we're showing really is, it's, it, it's incredible. This suit, just so everyone knows, isn't one that of it is going to go to Mars, but this is kind of a testing suit to get the kinks out, basically, because you want to make sure it's going to work. <laughs> you don't want any problems once you get to Mars. There's nobody that can go there to fix exactly. it. Right, right, exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So this is really for teaching people how to wear the suit and what they do, how they do things while wearing suits. And, and just testing the, the movement as well, yeah. right? So this, this has the same sort of limitations in movement that an actual pressurized space suit would have. Right, so uh, because as you were saying, you were saying earlier that this suit was not pressurized even during the testing. Right. right, to pressurize a suit is actually really complicated and you get into all sorts of safety issues. If you depressurize it suddenly, people can get the bends. So okay. it's, it's a big deal. How long did it take you and the team to design this and what happens now? So it took us about a year to design it and build it, and it was built mostly in-house at RISD. Um, and from here, after we're doing some testing like this, we're going to make some improvements to this version and then try and raise the fidelity of the suit to make it a little more realistic. Okay. And so where does it go from here? So I know you, you're going to do that, and does NASA have to come and obviously do extra other testing on this, and do you have to get approval and specs? For certain quality, you know, things so that they we, need. So we had a spacesuit engineer come out from NASA to try it on, test it, and give us a lot of feedback on it. And that was incredibly helpful. They mm -hmm. also helped us get some of the key dimensions of the suit. Okay. Um, and, you know, we're going to go from here and take another, uh, do more missions with it, and hopefully with the Explorers Club and Rhode Island Space Grant's been funding us for this. So it's been, it's going to be, that's where we're going next. So I was reading, it says you're a NASA coordinator. Right. What does that mean? It means. It sounds I, very cool. It does sound. <laughs> very cool. I had to come up with some really good title, does. right? It, um, it really just means that I work with NASA closely and try and find opportunities for students and faculty and the school, RISD, to work with them. Now, going to Mars may be a, a bit of a ways away, but what, will, what do you think it's going to be like for you when you do see someone put their foot on Mars and know you and your team had something to do with getting them there? I think it's going to be incredibly exciting. I mean, I watched the Apollo astronauts set foot on the moon the first time, and obviously that had a big impact on where I went, because right. I'm doing stuff like sure. this now. And I think that's going to be just amazing to see people on Mars. All right, so I'm going to give this a try. Oh, and, yeah. And it, <laughs> <laughs> I've never got that reaction before. But <laughs> all right, we're going, to give this a, we're going to give this a shot and see how this works out. Will, our intern's going to help us. We're only going to be able to put the top part on, because it does take a little while to do this, but we're going to give this a oh, shot. <laughs> There it goes. Just put okay. it right down on the floor so, there. So then I'm going to just kind of step, step in into this here. Yeah. All right. Got it. And then just as you go up, put your arms under those straps, straps, straps there. And and hold on one second. I think I'm yeah. stuck in the back here. Just going to move this just a little bit to the front. You have to wear it for the rest oh. of the show. <laughs> okay. And we're going up. All right. Easier than I thought it was going to be. There, there you go. go. Actually, that wasn't bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> so when, when this does happen, <laughs> one small step for man, one giant leap for the road show. Exactly. <laughs> Obviously, this has to be able to go for the long distance too, right? Right, right. We want people to be able to wear that for eight hours at a time and to be durable enough that it will last for a year. Right, to get through. Um, so, <laughs> so how long will it take for, for extra testing for this? Is it just... It, it will be an ongoing process. Right. We'll, we'll go and do another testing in, in nine months or so and try and make sure that we fix any problems that we've identified and just generally improve it as we go God, along. We only had a roadshow flag. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do this now? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 
I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much. <laughs> thanks. That's great to see you. It's good to have you here. This is not the image I thought I'd see, but whatever. There it is. Uh, to learn more about this project, we're going to post a link on our website. That is roadshow.com. Space.